day what is happening folks before continuing the video make sure to hit that like make sure to hit the post notifications button so you know when i'm posting videos so today is upper body push so what that is is triceps shoulders and chest so we started with bench press today i experimented a lot with three by threes for the past six to eight weeks I struggle a lot when it comes to bench press because my arms are typically longer than my uh, body. Your wingspan is supposed to be as tall as your body and mine is a few inches taller so I tend to struggle a lot with presses. So we did 3x3 three three pause bench. So we started out with 350, we did that for 3, rested for about 2 minutes, dropped 10% the following set and did 3 reps as well. So I like to start my workouts with heavy compound lifts because it boosts testosterone and it helps you make more gains later on. So the next one we have here is the incline Arnold press. I love dumbbells because it really shows you where your muscle imbalances are and what you may need to work on. And it'll also transfer over to your heavy presses obviously. So I highly recommend you never disinclude dumbbell work. So we did that for about 12 reps, 4 sets. And we did something I like to call a tri-set here. So we did the incline Arnold press with the dumbbells and then incline flies and ladder raises as you will see later on in the video. So the main focus here with the flies is the stretch on the bottom. You really, really, really feel it when you try to stretch out. And the sets after, I'll tell you this, you'll feel it for sure. So the next one we have here, as you're watching right now, is the seated lateral raises. For shoulders, it's interesting. You don't really need too much to, to build nice big shoulders. All you need is a press motion to hit your front delts and a lateral and a rear, that's it. So next up here, we'll move down to the cable station. We're kneeling on the ground and doing overhead tricep extensions. It's very hard here to keep my elbows in. I'm doing the best that I can, but pausing on the bottom is really helping it be more difficult. So here we did about 12 reps and we did this for four to five sets as well with minimum resting times. So with dumbbells and cables, I kept the resting times very short because this portion of the workout, I want to get as much blood in the muscles as possible. When you're doing compound lifts to lift heavy, you want to rest longer so you have more energy to lift as much weight as possible. But when you move on to dumbbells and cables, you want your resting time short because you're focusing on getting as much blood as possible in the muscles. So here we have our standing rope extensions to hit the triceps. So triceps has three heads. And you always want to make sure to hit all of them. So anything overhead will get the middle and the long head. And anything like this where you're pushing down and extending is going to hit the lateral head. Next up here we have push-ups. Push-ups is one of the best exercises you can do for chest. There's so many different variations you can do for push-ups. You can do incline, you can do... Um, yourself on something elevated you can do with your feet elevated if you can't do a push-up you can do push-ups on your knees you can do push-ups that are more doable for your fitness level so here we did a set of 20 to 25 but also five sets we tried to pause each rep and uh, make sure to get as much blood as possible in the chest tricep and shoulder area so at this point of the workout, I was extremely exhausted. I could barely do 20 push-ups, but we got it through. And next up here, we have our cable uh, flies or our cable chest flies. We did that for five sets as well and for 12 to 15 reps. So at this point of the workout, I was really getting the pump and I was really feeling everything. And I'll tell you guys this, my genetics for chest are not the greatest. So I, I do have to do a bit of work to get it more developed like the other parts of my body. So that typically is what I do for an upper body push day. It's nothing too crazy. 
I start with compound lifts, which are normally heavy, and then I move on to dumbbells and cables and add some body weight in there with lower resting times for that portion. So thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you're not being notified for any of my videos. I'll have more of these posts coming up. You know, I just want to have some more input from people to see what people may be struggling with. Over here on this channel, you're going to learn how I stay ripped, lean, strong, and athletic. That's the whole purpose of this channel. So if this helped you out, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And share with your friends that may be interested in fitness. Fitness is definitely very important and something that I recommend for anybody. Like always, get better every day, optimize yourself. I'll see all of you next video. God bless.